Semiconductor is not only about RTL to GDS. A lot more happens inside this six billion industry. Let me break down the semiconductor ecosystem for you. हम भारत में एक vibrant semiconductor ecosystem निर्माण के पीछे पूरी ताकत लगा रहे हैं। From design, integration, fabrication, testing to distribution, this complete network builds up the six billion semiconductor industry. Work starts with planning, and the outcome is such products which are used by everyone in one way or another. Space applications, national defense and security, and in fact, nothing is outside the reach of semiconductor products. All this work is not done by a single company. a complex ecosystem of companies work for this and all companies in this network are dependent on each other in some way by the way this ecosystem is quite complex i am dividing it in few types to explain it in layman's language design manufacturing and distribution is the overall process for an ic design if we talk about design then at very first we have eda companies these companies primarily work to automate the vlsi design flow synopsis cadence mentor graphics are key players in it we reuse the already available work while designing these complex chips and here we get companies which directly sell their small small blocks called ips and these companies are termed as ip vendors here you will find companies such as arm rambus siva and eda companies like synopsis cadence also expanded to this portfolio after eda and ip vendors we get fabless chip companies in design these companies have capability to complete rtl to gds flow but don't have their own fabrication lab they design various parts of chip like analog rf modem using eda tools they also buy ips for part of their design that's why these companies are customers of eda companies like synopsis you will find most of the famous vlsi companies inside this category only and usually these are the dream companies for vlsi aspirants as well apple qualcomm google nv Media, Media Tech, Amazon, Facebook, and many more are in the list. So basically, EDA, IP vendors, and fabless companies complete the design part of the chip. Now let's take a step forward towards manufacturing. We require fabrication labs to make chips using output of VLSI physical design. There are many more in the list, but the most famous one is TSMC. Most of the fabless companies ask TSMC to fabricate chips for them. Other major players in the list are Intel, Samsung, SMIC, UMC, etc. Etcetera. But these foundries require wafer fab equipments, special materials, and chemicals. These wafer fab equipments are very costly and complex. We have ASML, Lamb Research, Applied Materials, KLA type companies for them. Now we proceed to the last step called deployment, and we get to know about OSAT companies here. Outsourced semiconductor assembly and test. These companies take wafers from foundries. cut them into individual chips test and deploy it to customers you will find the company names on your screen and this is our semiconductor ecosystem but it is not complete yet because many more famous companies are left those are called integrated device manufacturers idms these companies are capable to design manufacture and deploy so they can do everything if we talk about idms then we have samsung for regular electronic products for memory we have micro Micron and SK Hings. In logic, there are Intel TI analog devices, STM type companies. So that's it, guys. This is our semiconductor ecosystem. I wish India would also have one such in future.